Hey, it's good to see you. Today we're going to take a look at some of the items on my shelves. Now I have these shelves here, these little white um, ladder shelves, and then I'm going to show you some of the stuff on my bookcase over there. We have a cat who has decided that it is always snack time. It's not snack time. She has food. Do you want more food? She does. She wants more. I'm not giving it to her. She's gotten used to me giving her food and at different times and I'm not going to do it. You're turning into Garfield. You want food? So. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So, all right. We have these shelves here. Now, these are ladder shelves. That's what they're called because they're kind of made like a ladder, you see. And I have two of them together here side by side. And I have placed some items on these shelves. Amy's telling you about them. Now, this you may recognize from a recent video. This was a gift. That I received from a subscriber. I thought it was really beautiful. Um, originally, I had this tall, weird looking uh, vase right here, but I decided to do a catch and release with that vase. I got it at Goodwill and I ended up just returning it there. I just sent it back to Goodwill. So I put the little seahorse in the place of the vase. You will see that I do have two. Greensboro City Plates here. This was from a very dear friend of mine who searched high and low for a 1973 because that's the year I was born. And these are actually very hard to find. Um, I've looked for one myself and I've never been able to find one from 1973. But my friend was able to find one which I thought was awesome. As Frasier would say here, it should be a skew. A skew? I don't think it was a skew. And this is a, this is a bell. This belonged to my grandmother. I don't know where she got it, but she gave it to me when I was a kid. I think, or my mother gave it to me. Originally, though, it was in my grandmother's possession. I don't know how old it is or... I don't know the story behind it or anything, but somehow it came to be mine. Okay, then you look over here. Now I've shown you this before. This is a little a glass fish. It was made in Stockholm, so it's a Swedish fish. Check it out. <laughs> He's like a little bong or something. No, I don't actually know what the heck it is, but there's a hole in the top. Oops. There's a hole in the top, and there's no hole there. The front kind of looks like a snow plow or a potato chip. It's like a Lay's potato chip. <laughs> and of course, I have little Volkswagen buses all over my house. Here's one of them. A little yellow um, split window Volkswagen bus. This is, um, is this a Hot Wheels car? I believe it is. So it lives there. And here's a little Lego canine. The bottom part is missing. There was actually a blue part on the bottom. I don't know. I just noticed it was not there. There should be a piece on the bottom and someone I think has liberated it for some other uh, Lego project or something. That happens around here too. Um, I got this little guy at the Lego convention two years ago. We were supposed to go. I had tickets for us to go again this year, but um, because of the pestilence, um, I decided we shouldn't go. And it's a good thing because the day we were going to go, uh, somebody who actually had it was there at the same time we were going to be there. So I'm glad we didn't go. Now these, now this is a Greensboro plate from 1975. Now these are actually really common. I got this at the Antiques Festival in... Um, Liberty last year. I believe it was last year. Last fall. Um, yeah, these are metal. And this is this was a one that was never used. Uh, 1975 is the most common. I see those all the time. 
and this is a record back here and it has my name on it somebody gave me that I've never played the record I don't even have a record player but I just stuck it back there on on my shelf now most of the things on these shelves came from Goodwill we have some little birds down here that look like they've been blown up like balloons this one always looks angry <laughs> He's a little pointy bird. He's mad. And this one's like he's got a little handle. And you can just hold him like that. They're made out of resin or something. Just two little birds. And then I have a starfish here. This is made of soapstone or something. It's actually really heavy. Um, and two of the little points stick up. This one kind of sticks up a little bit. And then that one sticks up a little bit. I thought it was pretty. I like the design on it. Um, it's painted or something. I don't know. Let's see. And then down here we have this. This is a cool thing, actually. Look, it's made out of metal. I found this at Goodwill. It's like a cactus or prickly something or other. And on the bottom... It's an armadillo, but you can always see it if you pick it up and turn it over. It's a little metal armadillo. Now, this was made by Bavano, handcrafted by Bavano of Cheshire, USA. I don't know who that is or what that is, but I found that at Goodwill. thought it was pretty. This also came from Goodwill. He's cracked, and that is my fault. Um, he got cracked when we moved here. Every time I move, I lose one thing, I damage a thing, and I get hurt. <laughs> Every time I move, and this got damaged, I packaged him. I thought I had packed him up where he wouldn't get hurt. I wrapped towels around him, but apparently in the process, he cracked. So now there's this crack that runs, and there's really nothing I can do about it. I don't know what he's made out of, but um, I'm just going to have to hope that he doesn't get bumped or fall off or anything. He's a cool little fish. I like him. And then I have this plate. Check it out. It's really cool. I don't know if those are some kind of fish or what they are. KSFC3. I don't know what that means. But this came from Goodwill, too. It's really heavy. And I have a little plate holder here from Dollar Tree. Holding it up so you can see it. And then on this shelf, we have this little vase it's made to look like it has little cracks all in it isn't that cool i love the color and the top reminds me of that uh plant on a little shop of horrors the one that's always saying feed me see more <laughs> it just makes me th think of that and then i have this oh god this thing is so heavy i have this elephant and uh, he is so cool He's super heavy. He's made out of cement or something. He's got this little knapsack thrown over his shoulder. And he's wearing a, like a cape or something. It's a little trunk. He's really cute. Okay. So that is, that is everything on my shelf. Or my two shelves. Right there. What do you think, Evie? Over here is a picture that my son is working on. It's a project for school. What's up? You want food? She's not going to talk to me anymore. My son has been working on his uh, homework. They, they have online work, and then they have some some stuff from the school that they have to do. But this he's in AG, which is uh, at the Academically Gifted program. He's in that for uh, reading and math. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I don't know. This was something that they had to do for AG. 
he messed up, so he put some tape over the part where he messed up. He hasn't finished it yet. He did, I didn't help with this. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Um, yeah, and those are the student driver <laughs> magnets. My older son was supposed to uh, get his uh, learner's permit, but the current situation has kind of put that on hold for now. So the learner, the student driver magnets are on the refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take you over and show you um, the bookcase. Now, this is my bookcase, my little bookshelf. I love my bookshelf. This is my favorite piece of furniture in the whole house, except for my busted, ugly Papasan chair that I will never get rid of because it's awesome. <laughs> I've had it for about 20 years, and I love it. But I got this at the Red Collection, which is a furniture consignment shop. They have two locations in Greensboro. I found this one at the Mill Street location. It even has a little drawer in the bottom, which is which is really cool. Yeah. So let's see what's what's on this bookshelf. <laughs> now this I got at a little thrift store in Jamestown. And it's, I got this last fall, because I thought it kind of looked like fall. You know, it has a little pumpkin on it, and this little doohickey back here, and I just left it up here. This is some um, ceramic or something. And my son, for the um, Pinewood Derby last year, got the Best Sportsmanship Award. He really got into it enjoy, and enjoyed it, and it was encouraging everybody. So... They only give out one of those a year, and he got it last year. Oops. I don't know why this is up here. Somebody stuck this up here. It's um, a Holly Farms race car, and it's super heavy, and one of the wheels came off. And I have no earthly idea why that is up there. I didn't put it up there. <laughs> oh, check out this fish. I love this fish. There's no light in here, so there's a shadow. Look at this. I found this at Goodwill. Isn't he pretty? It's just a little fish that lays flat, and he's so shiny. I love the colors of the fish. He's beautiful. Let's just put that there. And I have two of these. These are uh, Volkswagen emblems, obviously, that came off of beetles or something. One thing I like about this bookshelf is there are little grooves back there that you can kind of rest things in. So this one, this one isn't in great shape. This one is a little better. This one's shinier. Looks better. And then, of course, I have my Volkswagen bus <laughs> Lego set here. It's quite detailed. has the little pop-up camper. And the doors open there we go and you can see inside of it a little bit there there's all kinds of stuff in there yeah it's really cool you can see the seat and the steering wheel in there we even have little curtains <laughs> yeah it's pretty neat and my no Sorry, my older son gave me this for Christmas, this past Christmas. It's a Funko Pop, Pop Television. It's Bob Ross. Check him out. I left him in the box. So he gave, he gave me that. And back behind there, we have an orchid. It's not real, obviously. This was given to me by a very dear friend, oh my gosh, about 10 years ago. Uh, she passed away. She had cancer and did not survive, but I always think of her when I see my flower there. This one was also given to me by my older son. It's Mr. Rogers. Check him out. <laughs> yes, he has Daniel, the, the puppet, the little tiger, Daniel. <laughs> it's cool. And I've shown you this plate before. But there's a plane flying over. You don't hear that too much anymore. It's a really cool plate. This is from Germany, I believe. Yeah, it's from Germany. Isn't it pretty? 
I found that at Goodwill. Very, it's very cool. Okay. And you know what this is? <laughs> it's the Back to the Future car from Back to the Future Part 3. It has the white wall tires. And on the hood, they have the conversion that Doc had to do in 1885. Or no, no. No, was it 1885? No, no, 1955, he had to do this to get it to go back in time. Or something. Yeah, 1885. I don't know. I need to watch the movies again. I haven't watched them in a while, but yeah, there it is. And this little artificial topiary, um, I think it came from Goodwill. I don't actually remember. And then this my uncle made. It's made out of walnut. It is a solid piece. Even this part here is part of it. And it actually does not come off. I don't know how he did it. But you can unscrew it. This was one solid block of wood. You can unscrew it part of the way, but it won't come off. This, I don't know how in the world he did that. But this was just, all of it was just one piece of wood. And this was part of it. It's really hard to explain. But. And then I have some Bibles that my dad's wife gave us for Christmas last, was it last year? Don't remember. And that Heath Anthology of American Literature. I love that. That was one of my books from college and it has a lot of really good stories in it. So I never got rid of that. And then I have Richard Dawkins, The Greatest Show on Earth back there. And I have two copies of an album of horses. This is a um, paperback that I found in a thrift store. And then I have the hardback copy that was mine when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> Santa left this in my stocking. It's the Goldblum Variations. Defenders of Jeff Goldblum across the known and unknown universe. That was what Santa put in my stocking. And this bowl is really cool. Look at all the little pieces of wood and they're put together. Really pretty. That came from Goodwill too. And I have some of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And this is part of the series of unfortunate events. We are missing some. There were 13 books. My son let somebody borrow some of the books and we never got them back. <laughs> and it bugs me because now the set is broken up. So I don't have all 13 anymore, and it's a real bummer. And then you have a separate little drawer down there, which is, which is really cool. I like that. It's pretty great. And then over here, we have the big painting. That's not an actual painting. I got that at a yard sale for $20. It is massive. It may not look that big, but it's actually really big. And then this plant we cleaned in a video. Um, this this it's not real. This came from a thrift store. I think it came from Goodwill. I wasn't going to keep it, but then I, I, I just set it up here to clean it, and I liked it sitting there so much that I just left it there. At Christmas time, when I do my Christmas decorations, of course, I have to take all this stuff down. And these flowers, these are long stems. Um, I got these on clearance at Michael's after Christmas, and... I got them, I think, to use in a video just for the sound, and I ended up just leaving them there because I thought they looked really pretty together. And this vase I got for $5 at a yard sale. It is it's really heavy. I found out these things sell for about $100. I, I don't want to sell it, though. It's really pretty. Um, it's made by the Dynasty Gallery. Oops. Yeah. I just, I love the colors of that vase. It's all swirly and stripy. It has all these pretty colors in it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of my items. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon.
Mom, that's a copyrighted video. Oh, is it? Yeah. Should I not show that? You're making too much noise. <laughs> what is that? Hot fry. Shh. You're being so loud. Ah, uh, Evie, make him stop. Really? How are you handling all this? What? Being stuck here. You ready to go back to school? No. Doesn't really affect my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With your dusty hands, say goodbye. Are you going to put this in the video? I might. No. Why? Don't. Okay, I won't. Okay, good. Say bye.